This video is going to teach you what transition timers are and how to successfully use them in Composer. Transition timers affect the time that it takes for one overlay to transition to another overlay on the same layer. In most instances, transition timers are used to prevent overlays on the same logic layer from overlapping when you're taking those overlays in and out in a control application. To follow along with this tutorial, navigate to the Singular Marketplace in your dashboard and select a pre-built composition of your choosing. I'm going to download the Metal theme. Once you've opened up your composition, you're ready to get started. First, I'm going to do some quick prep work. Right now I'm deleting all the overlays in this comp except for two overlays in the upper right layer. You'll see why I'm doing this in a second. Okay, so right now we have one type of layer listed in our composition navigator called upper right. The first step after prepping the comp for this tutorial is to get familiar with the overlays now available. Take these overlays within the upper right logic layer in and out to understand their timeline animations. Now that you're familiar with the built-in timeline animations of these overlays, let's get an idea of the three types of transition timer options available to add to each overlay. The transition timer button is located next to each subcomposition overlay listed in the composition navigator. Select the transition timer button and you can see that there are three options available. None, auto, and custom. None is pretty obvious. It's the default selection where no transition timer is added to your overlay. Auto is also probably pretty obvious. This is the selection that triggers an in animation for the inbound overlay once the out animation is completed on the current overlay. Basically, this creates an automatic transition time between two overlays on the same logic layer. Lastly, there's the custom option. This is the selection that allows users to input specific positive or negative variable delays. Basically, you can add a custom amount of transition time. Let's add a five second delay between the first and second overlay in this layer. Within the Comp Navigator, select the Transition Timer icon on the second overlay and select Custom from the drop-down menu. Then change the time to 5 seconds. Okay, perfect. To see how this change affected the transition time, take in the first overlay on this logic layer. Then take in the overlay with the 5 second delay that we just added. As you can see, the overlay will not come on until five seconds have passed. All right, cool. You just added your first transition timer to an overlay and specifically added a custom positive variable delay of five seconds. Okay, now let's add a negative variable delay. You might be asking why a negative transition time would be necessary. In instances where you want a bit of crossover between your layer overlays, this feature is actually incredibly useful. Go ahead and add a negative one second delay to the same overlay that we added a five second delay. Remember to select that same transition timer button, choose custom, and then input negative one. First, take in the overlay that does not have the negative timer. Now, take in the overlay that we just added the negative one second delay to. Do you see the crossover? Congrats, you just added your second transition timer to an overlay and added a custom negative variable delay of one second. Just to recap, negative timed variable delays are fantastic for adding crossover transition effects between two overlays. You can see how you could get pretty creative with transition timers. Go ahead and test Auto and None, the two other transition timer options. See how Auto creates an automatic transition time? And how None, obviously, removes that transition time. 
To recap, there are three different transition timer selections, none, auto, and custom. Play around with the different options to see which selection works best for the logic layers in your composition. As always, thanks for watching, and you can check out other videos on our channel or access support by going to support.singular.live.